Hey YouTube, been a while. Got a few new additions to the shop. Got a new topside creeper. Real nice uh, creeper for working on trucks and stuff. That way you can lay up there on that pad and go to sleep. I mean, work on the truck. But, uh, I don't know if you guys have seen those uh, little giant ladders or whatever. You can pull these pins out and then you can make the make this uh, frame ladder frame here go up and down for different height and uh, you can adjust the tilt on it there but what a nice creeper sure saves laying on the damn motor and if I had a big belly I'd get poked all the time from the hood latch <laughs> maybe that happens anyways I see a little tool holder, pouch holder, or beer holder, whatever. And, put another motor to part out. Get this one pretty much stripped down so far. It had a little problem. I don't know if you guys can see. That's melted away. Cracked all the way across and blew a hole in it. Yep. Let's see if I got one of these. It's up at the top. Yeah, that's what it's supposed to look like. There's a, a lip here. Yeah, remember? All the other ones are good. And the cylinder didn't get scratched or anything. It's still in uh, real good shape. So, it'll be an excellent block for someone to rebuild. Okay. Got that covered. Got a bunch of parts I gotta ship out. I got a bunch of shipping stuff here. A little bit of beer. But yeah, I got all kinds of parts to ship out. And a nice little deal. Susan got me a little sandblaster here. The guy at work put it up on the bulletin board for $25. It's a D blast. It's pretty decent for any parts I got to blast, you know. I wonder if it's so heavy. There's damn sand left in there. Jeez. <laughs> but, yeah, the gloves got some holes in them, but not a real big deal. Be alright for me. Sandblasting the little stuff I got to do. Came with the air hose, and I'm assuming that little hole right there is for like a vacuum to clear the dust. I guess I don't know. I talked to uh, 500 passwords, and I think he was telling me there was a vacuum attachment for this. I think that way you can see what you're that way you can see what you're blasting. But other than that, today we'll be installing a new. A new CP3 pump in my truck. I got a nice deal on a LBZ CP3 pump for uh, 500 bucks. No core. Brand new GM. It's not a reman. That worked out pretty good. Let's see. Anything else? Diesel cylinder head. Another diesel cylinder head. And I got that Duramax motor sold. As soon as John comes and picks it up, hint, hint. <laughs> got a Dodge Dakota in for head gaskets. Did these once already and uh, still kept leaking coolant. So we tore it down, put, took it to the head guy, and uh, apparently the head's got a small crack that he missed in it the first time. Nice. So now we have to do the work all over again and do it for free, unfortunately. 
other than that, that's about it for now. I'll try to get some uh, video of my truck tore apart when I'm changing that pump. Uh, talk to YouTubers later. Bye. Hey YouTube. Been getting uh, a lot of questions about where I'm at and stuff like that, what's going on. I haven't made a video in a long time, but uh, just to show you, I've been extremely busy and I just have not had a chance to really make any videos. So, right now, I'm going to give you a rundown of what's going on and why I'm so busy. We're remodeling. There we go. Painting the ceiling. I need to fix that ceiling fan. Got two stories of scaffolding set up. Our life is uh, tossed upside down right now because we're living in two rooms. But, uh,. So, this is one little project. Yeah, that's a long ways up there, man. And we've just started the painting, so once you get this room painted, we gotta move on to the ceiling and the wall in there. Move all this furniture out of here. Then, once everything's painted, the carpet's getting ripped up. And I, which I have to do. <clears throat> yeah. So, that's really lovely. And all the way upstairs, hallway, ceiling, everything. I'd take down all the lights because I didn't want any paint and speckles on them and take the railing down. It's been a fun project. We have a professional painter guy here in the neighborhood and he said he'd uh, give us a hand out with the painting and stuff and of course I gotta come up with some extra dough to pay him but then oh, I'm standing here I'll show you this buddy I did some work on a car for him and I are good friends he makes these little lighted bottles grinds out a hole in the back and fills it full of Christmas lights. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And let's see. Outside here. There's a puppy. I've got the gardener hard at work. <laughs> Here's something I wish I would have done a video on. I. I did this car for Susan for a uh, winter car. And uh, it's a 2000 Grand Prix GTP. I well, got 150,000 miles I bought it for 500 bucks. Had to put a new strut and spring in the back because it was broken. And I had to get the, it was lightly touched straight in between the doors there. I had to get the bodywork done to it. But it's been a nice car. It's all loaded, it's all gray leather, heated sunroof heads up nice car that's one I should have done a video on but I bought it and uh, the day I bought it I took it right to the body shop to get it fixed as soon as possible so that one I wished I would have uh, done a video on but I didn't have the camera so and to do the paint and do the carpet our garage turned into our storage area so Got that going on. Then of course I did all the normal stuff like working on snowmobiles and it's all stuff I've done videos on before and I really didn't think I needed to do another uh, do any more videos on that stuff unless it was something different. So oh yeah. Anybody know what that is? We'll come back to that later. And Let's see. Oh, we haven't even begun to begin on, uh, on the yard work. Hey, there's my big buddy. Hey. 
That's the infamous Big Nick. All right, take you guys out back here a minute. And I got another project here, unfortunately. I, uh, I used my buddy's truck to go pick up some engine parts and stuff, and uh, unfortunately, didn't want to fire and uh, was pumping gas in the cylinders and uh, want to pop the head gasket on it because he drove it out here and it was just overheating. There was no coolant in it, so I need to do head gaskets. Unfortunately, just ordered 300 hours worth of parts for this, so motor's coming out and it's getting the oil pan's coming off, the head's coming off, everything's coming off of it. All new gaskets because it's been leaking a little oil. New timing chain, new plugs, the works, it's going to get everything, so I can make a video on that, I guess. That'll be coming up. And there's Phoenix. Now into the shop. Yeah, I went and got a decent deal on, uh, well, actually, since I've done a video, I bought two Duramax motors. This one came in about 12 boxes. Yeah. But, all good parts. The block's in great shape. A little bit of surface stress, but nothing bad at all. Made up a great builder for somebody. Um, let's see, what else? Yep, it's a part again. No problems though, just some upgrades. So, I got this little uh, five minute job I'm working on, you know. Got this going on, but it's nothing you haven't seen before. I've done a video on it, so didn't think it was uh, necessary to do another video, but here it is. And a big pile of parts, which brings me back to this. It's my motor, my shiny turbo. Well, you're wondering why it's sitting up here on the stand. Well, I'm gonna take everything that bolts on off of it, and. We're going green. I want to do a video of it after I had it all together, but uh, since I'm getting uh, prouder to do video, here it is. I'm a big fan of the Kawasaki green, lime green, Articat green, whatever you want to call it. But uh, that's going to look really nice. Can't wait. Well, I got that going on. You guys will get to see all that when, uh, when I get her all put together. Did all the piping, everything. So, let's see. Been trying to spend some more time with Mama. And, uh, oh, I had a buddy's truck in here. And, uh, we pulled the transmission and put the same exact turbo on it. Like I said, it's nothing really that I haven't shown before. So I just, I don't know, I didn't, uh, didn't really think about doing a video on it. Maybe I should have. But, uh, also while I have this out, um, Maybe I can give you an idea here. Let's see if you guys can figure this out. What does it mean when you got a pipe coming off the back of the turbo and comes over here to another flange? That's right. There's going to be another turbo sitting right here. So I'm installing my twin kit. That's my downpipe. 
that comes with the kit. So I'm gonna stack an S483 on top of my 366. This is actually the air cleaner that. This is the air cleaner. I, this this kit was used. It was actually in one of the diesel power challenges, but. Uh, It's a tall damn filter, man. Let's see. That's my hand. Yep. I'm gonna get a new filter though. This one's pretty pretty nasty. But that's about it. I'm gonna put a I'm gonna put a fuel system in the truck to I'm gonna put a larger line from the pump up to the front and uh I've been up to get it tuned up in uh, to Bob or they his nickname's Bobo he's up in Janesville area Janesville Wisconsin great guy who knows a lot about uh, trucks and tuning them so I've been a busy boy and it's not gonna let up oh yeah I've been making my own lift pumps too for uh, diesel trucks using uh, Wix uh, water separator with the base uh, Raptor 150 adjustable pressure fuel pump and uh, and a nap high efficiency filter that's 2 micron absolute and I'm going to eliminate uh, this filter I'm going to eliminate this filter right here and the primer head, but I have to put a, a bleed screw somewhere or a little bleed valve to bleed air out. That's all I have to do. Because this is only 65% efficient at 2 microns, and that tall filter there that's going to be under the truck is going to be 2 micron at 99% efficiency. So, And it's twice as large. It'll flow a lot more fuel through it. But I've been building those for some guys. I did change the high pressure fuel pump in my truck, but then again, like I said, I did a video on that. So, I mean, it was it was nothing new. And, uh, here's my new CP3 pump. Got a very good deal on that. That one will be going, uh, that will be going off to the side because I'm putting dual fuelers on the truck, too. Which, There's a PPE dual fueler wheel. The green serpentine belt. Bunch of fuel line I got. This, this is going to come from the tank up to the motor compartment, and this is going to run to my fuel block to both uh, to both the CP3 units. So I'll be able to really flow some fuel to it. What else? Oh yeah, one more thing. That uh, fuel pump there. That's all American made. All built in the USA, and uh, I can I can sell them at least $150 cheaper than what uh, the big pump companies go for for a dual filter setup. So, and a Diablo Sport programmer for sale, 0607 Predator. Nice little tuner. If anybody's looking for one. But uh, let's see, what else, what else? Um, I don't know, I'll show you this, uh, this LMM block I got here. Picked up this block. Nice block. But fuel injector stuck open. The guy wasn't watching his temperature. Look at that, split it right across the top and look at how, how burned up that piston is. But believe it or not, the cylinder has no scoring and it'll go standard bore. That's uh, actually a nice builder motor, really. But I've already got that one sold to a guy in Kentucky. That one I got sold to a guy in Springfield, Illinois. John, if you're watching. <laughs> running out of room, buddy. Definitely running out of room. So... Those are the heads off that motor I just picked up here uh, the other day. I picked up another LB7 motor. Heads are beautiful. The black's beautiful, like I said. I'm going to use a few parts off of it. And, uh, 
Got the wiring harness, everything. These three parts right here, I'm going to send out for powder coating because those I didn't get done yet. That's the upper and lower oil pan and the uh, the timing cover. And I have to drill a hole right. I'm thinking right here. I think I'll do it right here. That's for my oil return line for my second turbo. Got to drill and tap that into that pan. And that's all going to get powder coated green. So, I got a few things going on. Keeping me busy here. You guys know me, I can't stand still. I'm always up to something, so. But, a lot of it's just rehashing stuff, you know. So, I didn't, uh, didn't make a video on a lot of stuff. It's funny, I put, uh, I've installed three of those big turbos. You gotta cut the downpipes off, or the exhaust off. But there'll be more to come. I'm gonna mock up the twin kit here. I've got a, I've got a twin kit that I'm putting on a, a twin uh, fueler that I'm putting on another guy's truck with him. His name's Wayne, great guy from uh, Southern Illinois. And I've been hanging out on the diesel websites a lot, getting more information on what I'm doing here, because, I mean, this is a big project, obviously. So, I want to make sure I'm doing everything right, and I'll come home and I'll read for hours on the forums, and I do try to get in some YouTube once in a while, but it's, uh, right now, until I get this done, it's, I'm pretty much hanging out on a lot of the diesel sites and stuff, trying to make sure I'm doing everything right. So, but that's what I've been up to. But I'm going to put this, I'm going to put it all up in green, and I might even put the dual fueler kit on it while it's out. And, uh, I'm going to, uh, I'm even going to put the turbo over here and put all that together. Just so I can show you guys what's going to look like out of the truck. So, just showing you guys, I'm not slacking, I've been busy. So, I'll talk to you later.